So the theme for my comments on the industrial market this morning um, is st uh, stabilizing yet skittish. And so what do I mean by stability or, or stabilizing? Um, in a general sense and, and backed by data that I'll go through in a second, you know, I think there's an indication and, and general market perception that we're coming off the bottom. Uh, a couple of data points there. We have four consecutive quarters now of positive absorption. Uh, we haven't seen that since 2007. So that's a good sign for trends. Uh, vacancy has leveled. You know, we saw a, a precipitous rise and it's leveled and, and now it's finally trending down a little bit in industrial. Um, on the leasing side, we're seeing more corporate and credit worthy tenants than we have. And with that, we've, we're seeing longer lease terms. So during the depths of the recession, it was kind of bubble gum and, and, uh, and duct tape. You know, whoever you can get into a space, if it's a year lease, if it's a six month lease, if it's month to month, just get them in. Uh, if they can fog a mirror. Um, and now we're seeing that kind of revert to more normalcy, I would say, with, in terms of the tenant quality, which is nice. So we got people coming down from Phoenix again, regional and national players. Uh, that's a really nice change. Um, and concessions are starting to get more reasonable as well in industrial. So some of the, the horror stories you heard in Phoenix primarily, but even down here, but in Phoenix they would have three, you know, three, four year leases with the first six, 12 months free, you know, triple nets only, things like that. Not so much down here, but to a lesser degree, and that's starting to go away here. Um, so that's kind of on the stability side. On the skittish side, you know, why do I say skittish? And kind of the general theme there is, is that there's still kind of a lack of confidence in the strength and longevity of the recovery. People are still kind of waiting, you know, what, where's the, the, you know, what's the other bad news to, to drop here? Is, are we really on stable ground or not? And so people are really skittish. And so, you know, the kind of the, the points under that would be, I'd say jobs is, is front and center, um, both on a national and local level. Um, if you look at the national numbers, I mean, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, but the labor force has shrunk. Um, if we actually added all the folks back that have dropped out of the labor force, we'd be at, you know, somewhere around 15% unemployment in this country, which is not good. Um, locally, uh, if we compare Tucson to Phoenix, um, the state was projected to generate about 60,000 new jobs this year, and 3,000 of those were projected to be from Tucson, so that's really not you know, doesn't paint a great picture. So there's just a lot of concern about jobs uh, in general. And of course, jobs make the economy. If we don't have jobs, everything else follows. Um, corporate consolidation appears to have stopped, but we were hoping for a, a you know, a quick rebound in, in, in corporate expansion to follow that, which usually happens. We have not really seen that here. And um, we haven't seen rent growth yet. Uh, despite the fact that we're stabilizing, we haven't seen rent growth or value appreciation. I think that's to come. So I think that will happen. Uh, we're not there quite yet. Um, now I did. I don't have slides, but on the tables I put some charts. I just want to quickly go through those. You can. I don't. I didn't print out enough, so you might have to to share. But these really illustrate the stability that we're starting to see. On one side, you see the rent asking rents versus uh, vacancy rate. You can see the rise 07 to 09, and then it stabilized and starting to trend down. On the other side is an interesting little fact that I like to use, which is sort of the distressed sales or under $25 a square foot threshold. It's just an arbitrary threshold, but I think it's kind of a fun fact. You can see those spiking in 2010, 2011, and that's really the market correcting itself and fleshing some of these distressed properties through the system. I think that's a natural, healthy thing. You can see that trend line. It looks like starting to trend down a little bit too. So those are, those are two examples, I think, of, um, of kind of where, how the market's stabilizing. I'm just going to, don't have much time, so I'm just going to quickly go through some notable deals from the first half of 2013. Uh, Roper Scientific took 27,000 square feet in the Britannia Business Center. Um, Rob Glazer finished the leasing pretty much in the uh, Country Club Commerce Center with a 33,000 square foot lease to Synergy Installation Solutions. Uh, Seven Day Tires did a 20,000 square foot lease in 44th Street. Um, deal that I did, WearPro, 20,000 square feet in the old Alliance Beverage building. Uh, the old uh, Payless Cashways building that Morgan North owns on 4th Avenue was leased to the uh, Gem and Bead Mall. And uh, Preferred Packaging did a, a lease at 20,000 square feet, Duff's building, uh, another deal that I did. Um, and then there was a 20,000 square foot lease by Hensley Distributing in the former Safe Flight building. Uh, a couple sales I'll tell you about and then I'm out of time. Um, I just finished, uh, again, George and Don, thank you. Um, 
uh, completed a deal with George and Don at the Madera Business Park, which is sold to, uh, to them. Uh, that was at a whopping $18.47 per square foot number. Uh, so uh, they will do well with that. Uh, Gary Brown consummated his purchase of the Belvedere property, 100,000 square feet, and that was at about $11.65 a square foot on that purchase. And then there was the big sale was 100,000 square feet, uh, single tenant, triple net building, American Tire Distributors on South Alvernon in Valencia. And uh, that was at $9 million, $90 a square foot, developer sold to an institutional buyer. Um, and then the last one I'll tell you about is the multi-tenant investment sale, three buildings in the Gateway Industrial Park, 34,000 square feet, 55 bucks a square foot.